What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And in today's video, I got some RC news for you. So HPI has a sister company called Maverick RC and they have released the Maverick Quantum Flux MT which um, in the beginning, not too many people were happy with, even I, just for the main fact that like every little thing breaks on it. So if you have body posts that breaks, you have axles that broke, uh, dog bones that broke, and um, <clears throat> Maverick has fixed that issue with the HD axles and HD upgrades that they have for it. Well, this time, Maverick has took a page out of Arma's book and they came out with this bad boy. So you guys can see here, this is the Maverick Quantum R Flux. I don't know what to say about the body. Um, it is very boxy uh, compared to the infraction. Um, they took a page, like I said, they took a page out of Arma's book and they made it a truck as you guys can see here it's a, it's it, it's a truck so let me scroll up here um here's a better side view of it so it's a truck just like the arma infraction um this thing is a 1 8 scale when the arma infraction is a 1 7 scale and here would be a picture of the arma infraction uh so this thing is 4s capable as you guys can see let me scroll down here so here we go so this thing is brushless powered uh 4s capable um but, but, but with the flx 4s 120 uh, esc and the uh 2250 kv motor it has the treads hpi treads racing tires apparently these things are belted from what I've read somewhere, I believe these things are belted tires. Designed specified, wrapped in high quality grow, and belted for toughness. So these are actually belted tires. So apparently this thing's supposed to be pretty damn good. It's supposed to rip. Um, with everything that Maverick has had issues with, um, as you guys can see here in the features, so it has double wishbone suspension, oil filled adjustable coilovers, pillow balls, front and rear, uh, HD front universal drive shafts, with it, which is an issue that the Quantum MT, which I have, um, had an issue with them. The diff cups, HD diff cups, HD shock shafts, HD turnbuckles. Uh, it's going to have four gear differentials, metal gearing. Uh, center diff, dual point bolt, bell crank, um, 17 millimeter aluminum hex hub, which is going to be pretty cool. Treads, tires from uh, HPI, and they are belted. Uh, pre cut factory finish decal body, 4S light bulb capable, and I already told you 2250 kV brushless motor. Uh, you are going to need four AA batteries for the transmitter and a battery for the car. So basically, this thing comes ready to run or as you would like to say as i would like to call it almost ready to run just for the main fact that it does not bring batteries so it's not just take it out of the box it brings batteries put the batteries in charge it and you're good to go you do have to supply your own batteries for the car and for the charger so this thing is pretty boxy looking um I don't know how I feel about it, especially with this part up here on the uh, hood. So it does come in three colors. So you can get it in the Retro Shop Truck Gray, which is MV150351. You can get it in the Blue Red MV150312. And you can also get it in the, I'm sorry, the Blue Red is right there, and the Red Gray, which is MV150313. And of course, as you guys can see, the shock towers and everything here. Um, it does have a heat sink for the motor. Again, this is all brushless. I believe it's a waterproof servo that it does bring. 
and the back end, here we go. Uh, that's actually kind of cool how they have quantum embedded into the body right there. Um, this rear spoiler does look like it is removable. So if you want to remove it, I don't know why you would want to. Uh, more downforce is better for the rear so it doesn't lift up and take off on you. So there we have it, guys, with the uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we have it with Maverick. Um, I would like to get this thing on the channel to review it and see what this thing is all about. Um, I think this thing is going to be pretty badass, and I'd like to do a speed run with it. So, this thing lo does look pretty badass. Um, so, with that being said, my next RC that I want to talk about talk about is from Express. Here we go. So, Express has come out with a DR1S one tenth four wheel drive high power touring car. This is actually a drag car from Express. Uh, as you guys can see here, um, this thing comes with no electronics, uh, no servo. There we go. So this thing does not come with battery, ESC, motor, servo. You're going to have to supply all of that. Um, if I can, there we go. So this is what the body looks like. It's a Dragnalo DR1S high power uh, touring car. They're calling it a touring car, but it is a drag car from what they're saying here in the description. If I can get out of here, there we go. So let me put myself up there. So as it says it right here, traditional touring cars are designed for use with 2S LiPo in line with a lot of racing standards set by the racing organizations, but the advancement of both LiPo and brushless power system technology, DR1S, was designed to handle power. Their own is much higher than the traditional 2S and 540 motors. Uh, I did see somewhere here that it's a drag car. Here we go. The DR1S was designed with a goal to handle all of that power from circuit racing to drag racing and 2S LiPo to 6S LiPo. So this thing is supposed to handle up to a 6S LiPo battery. But of course, from what I have read, I think drag racing, you're only allowed to use a 2S LiPo battery. Uh, comment down in the bottom that make sure that I'm right because I'm not into the drag racing yet, um, trying to get there, but one step at a time. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of things on my plate. Um, so anyway, this thing does include a motor place to install both 540 and 1 8 motors, 25 millimeter hole distance and four screw hole size. So you can, I'm guessing it brings two motor plates, uh, quick gear mesh, fine tuning gearing, a uh, wide stance motor mount with 5x10x4 center lace shaft bearing provides a more secure power delivery for the drivetrain. Um, six millimeter wide rear belt to handle the immense amounts of power on your load. Front bumper weight system, standard 44 turn, 32 spur gear with a standard 3820 internal drive of 1.9. Optional front and rear differential or spool available. Uh, the wheelie bar, yes, this thing does come with a wheelie bar. That's why I was saying, and it says on here that it's a drag car. So it does have a wheelie bar, as you guys can see right there. And as you guys can see in this picture here, let me get out of that. So <laughs> this wheelie bar is adjustable. So you can make it longer or you can make it shorter, which is actually pretty cool. So it is all belt driven, as you guys can see all right there. This thing is all belt driven. That does not look like a metal gear. Um, I'm guessing they are not metal gears, they're composite gears. So I believe these are oil filled shocks. Let's go down here. All right, so in order for you to get this thing running and rolling, you are going to need a radio receiver a transmitter receiver, servo, 
uh, motor 540, 550, or 18 25 millimeter hole distance and four screws, uh, pinion gear, a battery, ESC, charger, a shell. So it does not bring a shell. And uh, wheels, tires, inserts. So you're going to have to supply your own wheels and tires. This is literally just the chassis itself. So this is basically all you get right here. Let me click on this. So this is what you get. Um, you just get the chassis alone. You do not get wheels, do not get tires, do not get none of that. Do not get servo, ESA, motor, battery. You're going to have to supply that all yourself. Um, now, grand total for this does not say. They say here that it's on back order, but they don't even have it available for sale yet. So as soon as we find out or I find out how much this bad boy is going to cost, I will be updating everybody on um, what this thing is going to go for. So next on the list, we are going to be talking about Tamiya or Tamaya. However, people want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Tamiya. There's a lot of people that pronounce it Tamaya. I believe Tamiya is the right way to say it. But anyway, let's move on to the next RC. So Tamiya came out with a new body uh, on an M06 chassis. And this is it, my friends. The item number 58698 Lotus Europa Special. So, yes, this thing is a little funky looking, but I have always loved this car. Um, I've just always loved it. I wish that I was able to get a back end picture of it, uh, which I can probably do here. All right, so this is what the car is, the new to me, it is made out of. Here's the back end of it, of what that's supposed to look like, and of course the front end. So with that, that's what the back end's supposed to look like. I just wish that I was able to show you guys from Tamiya's page what the rear end was going to look like. Unfortunately not, but here is another picture of the rear end. So this one doesn't have the wing on it, but that's not what I was trying to show you. This one does have a spoiler wing on the back the front of it this is a 110 scale um it is on the m06 chassis so if i click on gallery here that's all you get specifications description all right so it is on a polycarbonate body uh with the rear wheel drive m06 chassis um if anybody's looking for specifics about what type of car this was this used to have uh, 1.6 liter inline four big valve twin cam engine capable of 126 horsepower, which was the largest maximum output among the Lotus Europa series. So this thing was badass, let's just say. <laughs> and I have always liked this car. Yes, it's weird looking, but I've always liked the look of it. Um, again, it is a 110 scale assembly kit so you are going to have to assemble it put it together uh separate parts to depict side mirrors light cases and rear wing so the it looks like the rear wing the mirrors and the light cases do not come included now that's something that i did not know <clears throat> Um, so this model utilizes 225 millimeter wheelbase M06M chassis, uh, dedicated stickers. It does include a 540 brush motor. Uh, you are going to need a radio, ESC, and a battery. And to me, a PS paint. Uh, it includes the stickers, a variety of hop-up options. The parts are available to customize the chassis. So with that said, let's find upgrade parts for this thing. Now I'm interested. So let's click on that. So here we go. So already they have these hop-up parts for the Lotus Europa. Uh, the aluminum rear uprights, the aluminum motor mount, gearbox plate, aluminum, aluminum servo mount, um, titanium screw set, uh, 
gearing, I believe these are all going to be metal gearing. Um, antenna cap, pinion gears, carbon gear shaft, uh, aluminum wheel hubs. They have universal shafts, aluminum damper set. So if you want to upgrade, here you go. For $88, you end up getting the hop-up number 54,000, and it is the aluminum damper set, um, aluminum front uprights for $53, the rear, the diffs, $42, the MO6 stabilizers for $21, the um, suspension shafts, carbon damper stay, Another carbon damper stay. They got a lot of carbon battery holder. And, oh, aluminum rear uprights, uh, rings, heat sink bar, aluminum rear aluminum uprights. Let's go to the next page. Now that we're on here, might as well check and see what, what's going on here. Um, step screws, dog bones bushings, uh, body mount adjusters, uh, works damper set, sponge tape, servo horn, aluminum servo horn, um, shocks, more, more dampers for 90 bucks. You can get those body mount inspections, um, wheel axles, spring set, joint shafts, Carbon damper stay, another carbon damper stay, one piece of aluminum, uh, hubs, and there you go. The hubs go for twenty two fifty. So <clears throat> this thing's not even out yet, and they already have, as you guys saw, a whole bunch of hop ups for this thing. Um, I was trying to see if we could find the wing because apparently the wing is not coming with it. But anyway, I'm not going to go through all that again. <laughs> Those are just spare parts. I mostly wanted to check the upgrades to see what type of upgrades they had for this thing. So uh, the, R the Tamiya RC kit faithfully captures this classic car down to rear wing as seen in the special variant of the Europa. So with that being said right there, it might end up bringing the rear wing, which I kind of hope it does because that rear wing is what set it off for me with the special um, or special, the way they want them, whatever you want to call it. But this thing is badass and I do like it. And hopefully I do get one. I still have my Subaru that I'm trying to finish up. I already got the paint and everything that I still got to finish up. I got the interior that I still got to do. Um, I just got to get time to do it. So bear with me on that one, guys. Um, but continuing on with Tamiya. They are re also releasing <clears throat> the 92 Audi V8 Touring. This one is actually going to be on the TT02 chassis that everybody knows. Um, so everybody knows there's a whole bunch of hop-ups for this thing. Again, upgrade parts. I'm just going to through that before I end up going because everybody knows what the TT02 chassis is. And here you go. You get the high-speed gears. You can get the high-speed gear set. Uh, full ball bearings, which is what I would recommend doing, honestly. Uh, aluminum hubs, wheel hubs, servo stays. Um, upgraded dampers. And it, it, the list just goes on and on and on and on, especially with the TT02. I don't know why this says TT01 ball diff set, unless it, I don't think it does. But the set ends up working on that. I, I don't know. But anyway, so like everybody knows, the TTO2 chassis, there is a whole bunch of upgrades because they have, Tamiya comes out with new bodies and basically sets them on the TTO2 chassis, um, except for that Lotus Europa, which is going to be kind of badass. And I kind of want to get my hands on that thing so bad. Well, this is the TT02 Audi V8 Touring Car from 1992. 
they did come out with one. A lot of people might say, oh, it's the same one that they just came out with. Came out with. No, it is not. The one that they came out with was this one here, which is the uh, So this is the one that they came out with. I'm just going on this website. Not doing anything with this website. No, nothing. Liquid RC. It's just so you can get it here for $120. And as you guys can see, it's out of stock with them. This is actually the 110 scale 91 Audi V8 touring car. Um, different color wheels, same body, but this is a 91. The one that we're looking at is the 92. As you guys, guys can see, the paint scheme is completely different here. Um, but it's, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty much the same exact car. So the specs on this, adjustable gear ratio, yes. Bearings, plastic. Body, car, um, polycarbonate. Uh, stickers included. Chassis, ABS plastic. Chassis, TTO2. It's an assembly kit. Uh, gears, Differential type gear, drive type, four wheel drive, motor 540. You can put a brushless motor in this thing. Uh, requires a radio, servo, um, shock damper, friction type, suspension, fully independent, wish, uh, double wishbone, terrain use on road. Unless you upgrade it to a rally car like this Audi Quattro A2, which I love that car, and you make it into a rally car. But that's not what this car was. This was a straight touring car, which was badass in its day. And um, again, it's a TTO2 chassis. So there's not really much that, you know, I can go over with you that you guys all already know. It's a TTO2 chassis. That's it, basically. <laughs> TTO2 chassis. What else can I say about it? Um... It is a highly adaptable chassis as it offers two different wheel bases, two ground clearance settings, and two tread setups, in addition to a range of 10 possible gear ratios. It is not short on looks either with brake, disc shaped wheel hubs, and stylish front bumper supports. So, there we go, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm actually amazed that this one needs an ESC because. There's a couple of them that come with an ESC. Now, for this one to not come with an ESC, but now I want to see about this Europa. So, here we go. Adjustable gear ratio, yes. Bearings, plastic, like Tamiya always uses. Body stickers included. Chassis ABS, chassis type M06. Construction type assembly kit. Differential type gear. Drive type two-wheel drive. 540 motor. Requires uh, radio, servo. Uh, battery and battery charger and to me a PS paint. So <clears throat> the MO6 does bring a 540 motor and an ESC. So it's a 110 scale, of course, friction type shocks, uh, fully independent double wishbone suspension, terrain use on road. Okay, so the Lotus Europa does come with the ESC and the 540 motor. When this bad boy specs requires a servo oh wait requires two channel radio steering servo 7.2 volt battery and battery charger and to me a ps paint so it looks like this does bring the 540 motor and the esc at least that's what i'm i'm reading there so looks like you're just going to need battery um and a receiver. Pretty much that's it. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is where I'm going to end episode six of RC News for RC Car Garage. If you like the content, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You guys have a good one.